Hey there, in this video we are going to talk about learner made bulbs in PlayPosit. Let's get started. First up, why are we talking about learner made bulbs? When you think about the integration of technology, I think there's something to be said for being able to redesign tasks that couldn't have been done with paper and pencil. These learner made bulbs are just that. This is going to allow the opportunity for students to be creators of learning being able to do something they could not have done in a normal classroom without technology. Enough about that stuff, what the heck is a learner-made bulb? A learner-made bulb gives students the opportunity to find a video or make a video and then add questions to it. Pretty much the same thing you do when you create your PlayPosit bulbs yourself, your lessons. Uh, so this just gives that opportunity to students. You set up the assignment they go and create. This is a great opportunity if you want them to apply what they've learned and then turn them into the teacher. When we think about activities where we give students the opportunity to teach others, this is one of those activities. But instead of being face to face, they can do it in a learner made bulb. So if you want them to record something and then add the video or find a video online and have them add the questions, you can do that in a learner made bulb. What are the benefits to this? Well, after they create their learner made bulb, they're the same directions as they would be for you to create yours. They can submit and you can preview and monitor. You can also copy that bulb to your own bulbs to give to the entire class in the future if you want. So if you really like one lesson that somebody created, you can assign that to your whole class if you want to. So it's a really great opportunity for students to be creators and then for you to share out those lessons with other students, apply them again, use them in a future year, whatever you'd like. So that's what Learner Made Bulbs are all about. And let's go take a dive in just to show you around what it looks like. We'll take a look at how to set them up as well as how it looks like for the student when they're creating. And in the end, how it looks like for you to monitor. Let's go. First up, how do we make a learner made bulb? In your PlayPosit dashboard, you will see add new bulb, but this time we're going to do something different. Click the drop down arrow there. Choose add learner made bulb. When you do, add a name for the bulb like you would for a typical lesson and then click save. Now we're going to connect it to Schoology by clicking Add Materials, Add File Link External Tool, and then choosing External Tool. We'll need to choose the tool provider, that is PlayPosit, and give it a title. Once you give it a title, you can enable grading, give it a grading category, like I just forgot to do here. So I'll give it a grading category and click Submit. Then we need to click on it so we can link that Schoology bulb. If you've made a PlayPosit lesson before, you know about this. So just click and choose Set Bulb Link. If you choose your bulbs, you'll see that you can click the three dots, set bulb link. And then choose link. Let's check out the student view. For students, they would click the bulb, the lesson you connected to Schoology. Then they'll click create bulb. This is where things will get much more familiar for teachers. It's going to open up pretty much the same screen that you work with when you create your PlayPosit lessons. You can click YouTube or insert a URL and find your YouTube video that you want to add to your learner made ball. This really just follows the same process that you do already to make your videos. So students can create their own video lessons by searching for a video and adding them. Students can uh, add multiple videos, they can trim those videos, they can do the exact same things that we do when we create bulbs for classes.
After they select their videos, they'll be able to add interactions, just like you would when you make your bulbs. The idea here is that the students would be able to create their own bulbs, scaffold the questioning, meeting whatever rubrics or directions you might have for a particular assignment, for a particular uh, learner made bulb video assignment. One of the great features in asking questions is the audio feature. So with students, being able to create interactions, I think, is multidimensional in the fact that you can add questions written, but they can also add audio to record their voice. So they're not only writing questions to scaffold the content, they can also scaffold the language side of it as well. You could even encourage them to use their home language, perhaps, in asking a question. And as we finish, you would click review as you would in the teacher side um, normally. And a uh, student could give it a title. Or you could just click to um, save changes and submit. It will submit it, and they'll see this type of screen. And then uh, back in Schoology, They'll see this on their screen. It says preview bulb. Um, so back in the teacher side, you'll be able to monitor all this stuff. So you'll be able to see the different bulbs submitted. And you'll see my name, the student name, as well as um, allowing the student to continue editing, getting a preview of it, or copying it to your own dashboard, your own library. And you see it's really easy to preview. You pre would preview it the same way you would previewing any other PlayPosit bulb. You can go through and watch the videos. You can skip ahead and you can just check out what questions they asked and where. Back in the monitoring area of PlayPosit, you'll see that we can enter grade mode. Now I can give it a score of 0 to 10. This 0 to 10 will correspond with a percentage in Schoology. When you're all done giving grades, you can just click Sync Grades over there in the top left, and it will sync the grades with Schoology. All right, so now we've learned how to create a learner-made bulb, how to assign it in Schoology, how to create, um, how students create learner-made bulbs, and how you can monitor learner-made bulbs. Most importantly, we talked about how it could be implemented in the classroom. Or perhaps I should say, asynchronously.